Hey, what's going on there, guys? Uh, good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon now. It's the Earth Master on this uh, Tuesday morning, November 30th, 2021, last day of the month, December tomorrow. It is about uh, noon California time here along the West Coast. 3.6 earthquake coming into the uh, earthquake 3D globe up here in Idaho region. Looks like just right around the Stanley, Idaho area of the Sawtooth Fault region. Let's go ahead and check out the earthquake activity taking place here around the uh, uh, the model here from the USGS folks. Of course, that's the Yellowstone map. Let's go ahead and bring in the uh, earthquake map here. 3.6, they have this, uh, looks like it's situated around the uh, Dillon, Montana area, 39 kilometers to the southwest of Dillon. But... Uh, Kind of an odd area. Looks like it's definitely away from the uh, original region I was looking at here around the Sawtooth Fault area. That has that has gone pretty quiet. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the all magnitudes here for this region. Not a whole lot of movement here into the Idaho area over the last 24 hours. In fact, we've seen a little um, calming spell, if you will, uh, around the west coast and into the Gulf region of Alaska. Most of this calming uh, activity contributed to the 7.5 that struck down here in Peru also the earthquake activity um, that struck around the Japan area and also overnight we've seen some further movement in the 6.0 range down here in the uh, right around the Papua New Guinea area New Ireland area 6.3 struck overnight uh, 10 kilometers well actually this morning is when that struck uh, 10 kilometers below the surface we are seeing a large number of aftershocks following that 6.3 uh, within the same vicinity of the original quake. Also some further earthquake activity and aftershock sequences uh, following yesterday's uh, Japan earthquake, the 6.3 that struck down here. Uh, seeing quite a few fours and fives kick up as well. Uh, very typical for this region in a subduction zone to see that amount of uh, aftershock sequences. But one thing we haven't seen is uh, further movement up here to the north north of Japan, this little segment right here northward. A little bit of activity uh, over the last 24 within this region and some deeper movement uh, right around the Tokyo area. Uh, 71 kilometers for a subduction zone earthquake for that 4.9. But still watching this area, folks. It's just been a... Uh, it's got to be building up quite a bit of stress here over the last... Um, well, last few years, I should say. More than that, actually. Uh, looking over here along the west coast once again, can see the absence of earthquake activity up here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, reg regional earthquake uh, activity has dwindled down quite a bit in that region of the country. Um, we're going to have to watch this here. Uh, it's kind of an intermountain west region close to Yellowstone but not too close. It's a little ways away. Uh, definitely nothing related to that. Let's go ahead and check out something here real quick. So it looks as though we had a swarm of movement here over the last 24 hours. Uh, late last night and early this morning, I didn't see that on the 2.5 map, of course. Uh, and then even on the one day map, uh, if you look at it on the map, it pretty much uh, that 3.6 just covers up everything. But we are seeing a little swarm of earthquake activity right around the, uh, what is that, the Red Rock Fault uh, timbers, timber, uh, timber butte section. Let's see what we got here over the last uh, seven days within this area. This is looks like it's a fairly new swarm. Some of this movement from last week in the yellow, but uh, all of this except for today's earthquake uh, was all microquake. So kind of seeing a jump in the magnitude all of a sudden. Uh, with a 3.6 striking near Grant. far as the uh, regional overview goes of the satellite imagery, kind of up against the mountain ranges there. Like I said, there's that fault system to the southeast. Uh, got like a little valley over here, it looks like. Uh, that 3.6, 8.1 kilometers, it's pretty deep. Uh, there in that region of uh, around the epicenter. <clears throat> so kind of watching that, folks, around the uh, Montana area. 
far as uh, earth other earthquake activity within the vicinity of this region, pretty quiet around Yellowstone itself. I was just looking at the Yellowstone map here and uh, things calming down. That 3.6 did show up on the Yellowstone uh, live seismograph on the live stream. Uh, but other than that, any localized earthquake activity uh, is absent here from the maps. Still no data coming in following the loss of data after the 6.3 uh, that struck Japan. Uh, for whatever reason, the uh, seismographs went down following that 6.3. That signature right there on those stations there <clears throat> is from the Japan earthquake. But right after that, things just kind of dropped off, which is kind of strange. But uh, I'm not for sure what's going on there. But today, uh, no further data from those stations that lost uh, lost their signal. Uh, re regular earthquake activity um, kind of, <clears throat> at least here in California, looks to be picking up a little bit. Um, I know yesterday things had calmed down overnight, pretty pretty calm as well, but we are seeing a little return of some microquakes throughout the, the region of California and Nevada area. Some further movement up here. Uh, this was uh, late, late last night at 1.6. So far as generally new earthquake activity along the uh, uh, Northern California area, we just haven't seen it uh, return to the region yet. We are seeing some further activity though down south along the Garlock Fault structure. This little 1.1, pretty shallow earthquake right smack dab on the Garlock Fault zone near Tehachapi, California. San Jacinto Fault area, regions down south there a lot of that, uh, some older earthquake activity from uh, late last night, just microquakes and uh, scattered out and about here in the Nevada region, some microquakes as well in a pretty uh, pretty broad region. Long Valley Super Volcano, uh, seen some movement as well, but uh, most of that activity uh, way, way earlier this morning. Things could be picking back up there with the uh, uh, return of some earthquake activity up north. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Uh, movement in the Gulf of California has died down. Uh, that was discussed yesterday about the swarm of earthquake activity in the Gulf region uh, that occurred over the last uh, few days or so. We've seen just uh, a pretty good handful of fours kicking up there, including a 4.9 earthquake within that region of the uh, Gulf of California region. That uh, since has calmed down at least uh, on the USGS map here, we don't see any uh, earthquake activity happening over the last 24 hours in that region. Uh, movement to the east, New Madrid area. This is an older earthquake from, uh, actually, let's see, that's, uh, oh, that was today, 1615 UTC time. That's, uh, what have we got for the time here? About four hours or so ago. Little 2.4 on the Missouri fault or the uh, New Madrid fault zone out here, 12 kilometers deep, right smack dab in the New Madrid area. Uh, some Oklahoma earthquake activity as well. Texas has gone quiet, and uh, down south here, the Middle America Trench, pretty quiet as well. Look at South America um, returning to the quiet spell that it. Uh, had seen a couple days ago prior to the 7.5 and that little unzipping of deep earthquake movement along the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, over the last 24, it looks like uh, a lot of this here is some older earthquake activity from earlier this morning. We haven't seen any new movement pick up there in that region of the world. Uh, but uh, over here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, yes, very active. Uh, if you put in the 6.3 in Japan, the six-pointer over here near the Papua New Guinea area looking at uh, a lot of forward movement here to the west uh, and that's indicated here on the map with a lot of movement around the Indonesia area including some movement deep movement around the Philippines area uh, 5.158 kilometers and up here even a, a deeper earthquake uh, 4.6 at 137 kilometers so some movement definitely definitely taking place there down below the surface and uh, getting things rocking and rolling over here to the west. Uh, in the China area, they had a 5.4 strike, the region. That one kind of shaking things up out there as well. Uh, and then further over here to the west, a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity around the Mediterranean uh, GNC region at a 4.9 uh, and a couple fours kicking off there within that area. 
uh, earlier this morning. The Atlantic remains relatively quiet. South Sandwich Islands seen a 4.6. This region here has seen a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity over the last week. Uh, nothing significant, but we are seeing some further deep movement into the trench area of the South Sandwich Islands. Um, what else we got here, folks? Into the, uh, let's see, the Alaska region up here. Look at this, very quiet. Of course, this all plays a part to what's going on along the west coast. Uh, things seem to be calming down up there as well, uh, at least overnight and early this morning. But like I said, that could be changing right now. Uh, as we speak and throughout the day today with the increase in pressure here along the North American Pacific plate boundary. A lot of deep movement here along the west, uh, but we may be at a standstill temporarily in that region uh, with a return of pressure here to the uh, North American Pacific plate interaction, uh, interaction here with the uh, earthquake activity ramping up. One thing I have noticed is the lack of activity as well, not only up here to the northwest, uh, but down here along the Kermadec Trench um, southward to New Zealand. Uh, things very quiet here. Uh, I, I don't expect that to stay like that for too long considering all the movement up to the northwest, the deeper activity here to the west, and of course the large surface quaking along the Pacific and Philippine Plate uh, could point to some signatures and signs of some uh, pretty soon earthquake activity within this region. So we will be keeping an eye on that uh, as well. What do we got, got up here in Seattle? Looks like a little little quake going on, a little zero quake, okay. Right around the um, Mount Rainier area. We'll have to check that a little bit later on in the update video. And also the trimmer uh, along the Cascadia. We'll, we will be keeping an eye on that uh, pretty closely as it's uh, remained relatively quiet over the last week there with hardly any trimmer uh, to report along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, and as I mentioned, the Yellowstone map, pretty quiet. Still some technical interference up here. There is the, uh, looks like the 3.6 in Idaho coming in to the uh, seismograph stations there. I mean, uh, 3.6 around the uh, Montana region. Um, so yeah, we'll keep an eye on the uh, North American Pacific Plate over the period of, uh, well, throughout the day today. Uh, what else we got here, folks? 3.6. Did I say 3.8? Maybe I said a 3.8, 3.6. Either way, a three-pointer up there. Uh, kind of showing some signs of some increased pressure along the West Coast, folks. So we will be back a little bit later. Hope everyone stays safe out there. Need some, uh, need some caffeine today. Um, just uh, got a pretty busy day in store. Moving a few things around. And, of course... Uh, brilliant sunshine out here in California right now. No rain in sight. Unfortunately, we need some more rain and uh, I don't see it on the forecast models looking pretty dry. Uh, in fact, we could have record breaking temperatures here in California. It's supposed to be about 75 degrees here where I live and that's not okay with me. I'm not okay with the, uh, with the warmer weather when it's supposed to be cold. I'm not a fair weather type of guy. I love the, I love the rain. I love, uh, I love I love storms. I love, uh, well, I love weather. You know, when it's sunny, that's not weather. So, all right, guys, have a good day. We will chat to you guys a little bit later. Stay safe. Peace out.